This man hasn't moved his arms or legs since being paralyzed four years ago. Now the 28-year-old Frenchman called Thibault is walking thanks to artificial intelligence and a robotic exoskeleton. The suit is supported by a ceiling harness allowing Thibault to balance. Two electrodes are implanted either side of his skull between his skin and brain. They send information from his brain wirelessly to a laptop on his back that decodes the messages, sending instructions to the suit. Its 14 joint motors then recreate what his muscles used to do, allowing him to walk and move his arms and wrists. It's impressive, say spinal injury experts, but not a cure. We are definitely moving in the right direction and it's very exciting to see this type of work emerging from the research lab. Uh, I think if I'm going to take this with a pinch of salt uh, to say that uh, um, we still are a long way from it becoming a clinical practice. Why is that? Well, despite using pioneering implants to bridge the gap between brain and machine, it still took two years of computer training to allow Thibault to control the robotic suit. Fine movements like picking up objects or eating and drinking are yet to be perfected too. But by the time Emerson Grant grows up, brain-machine technology could be well on its way to helping him. Now four years old, he was paralysed from the chest down by a cyst on his spine. And this new technology, in, if it gets created in, in Emerson's lifetime, is going to be actually amazing for him because it will be able to enable him to get to where he needs to be by thinking, which he can think what he wants to do, but his body doesn't respond to his thoughts. So it was just um, incredible and very exciting. Thibault said walking again made him feel like the first man on the moon. This is a giant leap for him and a small step towards helping many more people with spinal cord injuries. Tom Clark, ITV News.